Hey! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Gear and Beer Show. That's Blaze. That's Joe. And uh, we're uh, brought to you by Music Villa in lovely downtown Bozeman, Montana. And uh, we have a whole bunch of good stuff to sell you that's music related. So uh, go to our websites. Mm -hmm. But uh, for this show, we like to get guests and talk gear their, about their gear. And uh, mm -hmm. hopefully they bring us beer. And uh, we love when that happens and uh, things come together. Last week we had a crazy... That was wild. Yeah, yeah. We, we had this machine that totally zapped us coffee, beer, our guest appeared. It was pretty incredible. And I feel like there's... This, I have static. My hair's sticking up. I'm feeling that too. Yeah, I'm sweating a little more. Uh, my bunions are three <laughs> times larger than they used to. They usually are, and so, uh, <laughs> and I ran out of cream. I was but, about uh, to ask. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's my problem. But uh, uh, but yeah, I feel, I feel like there's it. energy still in here of that. It's totally, it's very glitchy. Think the microphones, the lighting's been all weird. I think that had something to do. There's a residual glitch it's in the It's on here, so I don't... And, and give you guys a show. And... Ooh, this seat is warm. Ron! What the... Where are... What? This reminds me of college. <laughs> ha! <sighs> I'm your father. Mm -hmm. Yep, looks good. Oh. Couple more and we're good. <laughs> Couple more and we're good. I think we got it. 800, 801. Whoa! 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 That's good. Much better. Yeah, yeah. And this, I think this is what we're supposed where we're supposed to be. Well, I don't know what just happened there, but these uh, that was wow. Yeah. I feel like I went in another dimension. I know, but I feel good now. <laughs> Me too. I feel like I took changed. my multivitamin and it's working. <laughs> You know, uh, it's like one a part that of works. Me is missing, but a new part of me is there. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Chakras <laughs> recharged. I'll figure that one out. Yeah, <laughs> Chakras mm -hmm. recharged. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we had our guests. You're here. This is all coming together. I think you know the the the, the energy in this room really was messing with us. And I but think I we, think it, we're at the end. Hopefully, this will stabilize. I, I I hope so. So, also we're the we're the gear and beer show. I don't know what just happened. Uh, we have a guest. Micah's here. This is Micah, Micah. Tippett, everybody. Right. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, I'm glad uh, somehow in the vortex you showed up and uh, uh, everything was aligned. So yeah, welcome. A little hairy um, I hope uh, uh, did in the zapping and everything. What, did beer show up too? I don't know. Ooh. I feel where I got a beer right so. here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. There's one. Nice. Oh man, thank God. Agua fresca. Thank God. Look good, at this. So what is this? This right is a here. Primus watermelon lime hibiscus. Nice. Watermelon Agave. lime hibiscus. Did we just zap uh, backstage at Elton John? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Looks oh, like good. it might be a nice uh, morning Cheers, beer. Cheers. Oops. That's a great Cheers. morning beer. Cheers. This stuff's good. Oh. Ooh, yeah. So, so yeah. Okay. That's a really good morning beer. And uh, Dustin, did you, would you, you like a beer too, Dustin? It. Do we have one for Dustin uh, around here? Oh, we man. Do beers or a beer in there? Oh. <gasps> That's uh -oh. all right. You're not, we're gonna, we can get you a cup um, by New Belgium people. Oh, yeah. Fat so, Tire. Makers of Fat Tire. They're doing, with doing different things. Cerveceria. Yeah, it's like a takeoff. Cerveceria uh, Primus, New Mexico City. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, neat. Well, so hey, we're going to... Getting up with a Mexican brewer. That's cool. Yeah. Their coll collaborations are always good. Mm. Um, so uh, uh, we have Micah here. He's a... A local star. Mm -hmm. He's one. <laughs> as many of our guests, <laughs> we're doing a lot of local people. Maybe someday, you know, we have a promo now that's got a, We're getting new subscribers. Thank you, new subscribers. Yeah, thank you. Thank for, you, thank uh, you. We're, we're doing a Paul Reed Smith. Uh, Silver Sky. Silver Sky. It's a great guitar. John Mayer. Maybe awesome. John Mayer could come on our show. To win his or win his own guitar. Just and like, win his own guitar. <laughs> yeah. People might think it's, you know, it's rigged. <laughs> but, uh... But we're willing to do that. We're willing to do that. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we're we're working our way up to bit. We're gonna have Jack Nicholson maybe, and uh, <laughs> yeah. And the, the kid who is on the Wonder Years, he's gonna Fred show Savage? up. Yeah, Fred Savage oh, yeah. might be here. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the inventor of the Lego, uh, you know, Lego Ninjago set. He's a wonderful designer. Anyway, we're gonna um, we're gonna have all these different guests, uh, prime ministers, you name it. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway. For now, we're going to entertain you with our local celebrity, Micah. Now, let's get to know Micah. 
um, uh, what uh, I you have guitar? We got to talk about your guitars. We have gear. Yep. Um, now, what what kind of music do you do? Are you you play a uh, auto harp <laughs> or a uh, well, little dabbles like Celtic mm-hmm. harp? Yeah. Mm, I yep. prefer yeah yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that one big gig a year. Yeah, you know, uh, Flag Day. Uh, wait. <laughs> but um no uh, uh uh so what kind of music do you play are you're in bands in town yeah uh, uh, what are they called what do you do tell us about yourself <laughs> playing an archeron <laughs> archeron thodol it's a black metal band in town now wait what's the name of it archeron thodol oh okay i thought you said r crumb like the illustrator <laughs> i was like <laughs> there cool. are there are local like like straight up black metal band really good original that's a, it's just a, it's a really good band, people. Check them out. So for the, check them out. For the kids at home. Uh, and Micah is the primary <laughs> writer. He's the riff master. Original. He's, he's the man. Original music. Yeah. But they work yeah. really hard, and they all they 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 do it. I mean, together a lot of it. You guys are getting together and like flushing out these ideas, and yeah, you spend a lot of you put a lot of work into your recordings. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's pretty sweet. I mean, we've we've been writing this last album we've been working on for about a year now. Yeah, and it's evolving, so. and it's always you know. You guys, last time I saw you guys, sounded it was like an, there was new sounds happening. It was I could yeah I could detect the evolution of it. I could you know it was a bit different than the last. Then it was you know it's going places. It's moving. What's the lineup? Sure. It's like five keyboards <laughs> and a drum machine, <laughs> 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 which too, is the formula for black. Kelly, metal. Kelly's a great front man too. I just, I just really like Kelly as yeah. a front man. Got so, a great scream. So our vocalist Kelly just picked up bass as well. And now we have two guitars and drums, and we're working on adding a synth player. Oh, cool! Our friend Seth. Nice. Yeah. Some droney yeah. stuff. Is that. Or, or yeah, lots of some strings probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool, man. And Shiloh. Did we mention Shiloh? Yeah. Shiloh McBee. Yeah. Great drummer. That's a. It's kind of an all-star band. Tanner. <laughs> Tanner's yeah. great. We'd actually be good to get him on the show too. Uh, yeah. And you're from. Uh, you're from Nashua. No, uh, you're from Nashville, Littleton, originally? New Hampshire. Littleton, New Hampshire. Okay. Yeah. Oh, comes, lovely. Because when we had Dan Haywood on here, he had yeah. a story. He had some yeah, he's the town New Hampshire over. connection. You guys had yeah. the same girlfriend. Yeah. Is that right? Am I right about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you, but you girl, never met each other. This girl gets around, people. Girl. <laughs> this girl's all over New Hampshire. <laughs> if you're in the northern central, <laughs> northern New Hampshire, look this girl up because she wants to party. Everyone's with her. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, um, so we'll when, get you her name and address. <laughs> okay. So was it? Did you move from New Hampshire to straight to Montana? How'd, yeah. How'd that all happen? Uh, just drove straight out here and had some friends. <laughs> here. Yeah. No way. Just drove out. Drove out. <laughs> <laughs> you you put had my to, stuff in a car, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> people do. That's how people move, Joe. You know, I would have taken a bus, but it wouldn't fit all my crap. <laughs> uh, you only got one seat. On me the bus. and my twelve snakes in the yeah. car. <laughs> Skateboarded the whole way, gleaming yeah. the cube, holding on. Well, you <laughs> younger people, that's holding onto the curb of a car and just going on your skateboard, gleaming the cube. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, never thought I'd say that today. Um, okay, so uh, and uh, and and you. Lo- when was that? How long ago was that? Uh, 2012. Okay. Summer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you love it out here. Yeah. It's a little bit. You know, you're used to being that. That's kind of in the mountain mountains. Of, is it in the mountains of New Hampshire? Yeah. It's, white white uh, mountains. White mountains. It's, it's all hilly, yeah. Yeah, but out here it's out a rock because it's, it's a little bigger. Probably feels more like hills when I go back to New Hampshire. Right. Highest right. mountain on the East Coast, though, right? Mount Washington? Yeah. Oh! I believe it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Joe's been reading again. Coldest recorded wind chills. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ever, I guess. Yeah, up that's there, a, like considered yeah. coldest place going, I heard. The yeah. ocean air. Yeah. So you've been playing heavy music for a long time. Every, mm-hmm. I mean, as long as I've known you, you've been playing guitar and, and you know. We, yeah, did you man. have a secret life in New Hampshire where you were just a big deadhead? <laughs> and then now you moved out here and you reinvented yourself and you're just a metal dude. You no, I know your secrets. Removed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that a dancing bear image? No, uh, no I, I played in punk bands in New Hampshire, but dead was really big out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in that region. Weren't oh, you yeah. playing a red SG yeah. when I first met you, when you were first out here? Yeah. still Probably still have that guitar, I hope. No. No. Do you trade it in here? No, I actually got that here. I think I traded a green Stratocaster. That's right. It's all coming back to me. Yeah. Remember that SG, though. Mm-hmm. 
Um, what you, you just decided you're not an SG guy anymore? It was a, it was a phase. It was just a yeah. yeah. I think I well it we, we fell sh- over on its own and broke and then <laughs> I got it fixed, but didn't really want that to happen. So again. so let's let's go. Let's actually talk about your guitars for a minute because you you're just the, the instruments you're playing has, that has really evolved and changed. You mm-hmm. kind of went from just six you know a six string electric guitar to can you tell us about I mean yeah I'm noticing 12 strings 12 string yeah. electric I didn't expect that so I started on that one which I got here which was made by a local luthier Engstrom Marcus Engstrom. that's Marcus Engstrom that, so he was our guy that, that did a lot of repairs for us he's awesome he's amazing yeah crazy yeah. ass Swede so, um, so you have a Marcus uh, guitar cool. which is which is really sweet because it's like a hollow body have, all you listening on the podcast it's a hollow body black sleek look um <laughs> F holes, <laughs> uh, twelve string. It would go, cool. it would go yeah. well with P90, your P ninety, a P ninety, you know, leather suit going that you wear sometimes. <laughs> oh, the one really that's two sizes, zipper? two sizes smaller. The professional hot dog eating mask. The zipper when it gets, I need to put oil on that <laughs> zipper. Uh, the other day I had it on and I just couldn't. It was halfway and it just it doesn't work the same. <laughs> it's when it goes, it's, it's stuck halfway. <laughs> Half the fun. Okay. <laughs> Your whiskers caught me. <laughs> yeah, not cool. Never going to beard out again. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, and I, I just like the the presence of the 12 string. Mm-hmm. It sounds kind of more medieval, kind of loot-like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, it fits with, like... like yeah, you get I, that I, I, I don't know. Like, I, as an observer, as a, as a dude in the audience, you know, when I hear you guys, it's like uh, there's this whole, like, Viking thing to it there's this whole like medieval right. viking aesthetic to it that totally comes through it, there it is I, it's a thing i gotta get out more i'm sorry <laughs> it's this like there's like this medieval i don't know it's really cool there's it's like it's really really like like heavy as hell metal are people dressed total, it up with shields and they should be they would be <laughs> on, helmets. Like, you know they should that could be. be a thing kelly used to have this like fur he'd just have this like dead th- dead right. thing for on him. Is that something you guys are going for? Like that's insp- you're inspired by this like <laughs> we're going to rape and pillage everything we they see. They all wear uh, like you know the He-Man underwear? <laughs> yeah. You ever see that? You ever see that band Man of War? It's basically yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Look up Man of War. Don't look up Man of War. <laughs> I know I He-Man think, underwear. I think we should look into getting on playing some Renaissance fairs or something. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you know, they're all used to that, all that light, you know, looty stuff and acoustic stuff. I think they so, need to get the yeah. metal going. <laughs> so Micah's tuning to drop C on a twelve-string guitar. Uh huh. So that's a lot of work. You started doing that on the Engstrom guitar. That one's thank God for a. tuners. A. 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 No, that yeah. one's an A right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So different tuners. I was trying to. I think I was going to use that for kind of a slower, doomier project. So as you became, as the twelve-string became more, a, uh, uh, you know, a key sound <coughs> to your band and to the music mm-hmm. you're writing, you got this custom guitar built. Can we talk about that? Yeah. A second custom guitar. Nice. This one's this one's built for Micah. A Monson. Uh, uh, they're made out of Northern Washington, and Monson. they're actually, you know, he sponsors a ton of famous bands. So there's a ton of artists I really like who play them. I think Mike Mike Scheidt of Yob I saw live playing one of these, and. I just get decided one. I really wanted one. Yeah. Is that a <laughs> is that a longer scale than the Engstrom? Do you know? Yeah, this one's twenty four. Okay. Which helps on for the keep staying in tune with the low the low tuning. Yeah. And you were telling me you have a custom gauge of string for that. You have like they're not yeah. regular little wussy twelve string strings. They're big. big right. C's. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So the C, the low C, is like a fifty six, matched with a thirty or a 32 or something, all the way through a 12 at the top. Are there It's a, like a acoustic set almost. Yeah. Are there like other bands yeah. like in your genre out there playing 12 string guitars? Yeah, or there's a there's a that I know of, there's a kind of a post metal doom band out of Portland called Soul S O L S O L. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I can see how that's getting a deep, the low tuning, and then twelve string. That's got a, that's a cool, throw it in through whatever effects we're going to talk about soon. Yeah, it's like a natural um, chorus effect, right, with the guitar. That's mm-hmm. going to sound cool. Uh, let's see what's under here. It's going to sound very cool. And the other guitar player is just doing a regular six string, or, or yeah, just so you have this yeah. compliment. Tanner's got telly, which I think is yeah. I love seeing. I love that too. Yeah, People, you know, mm-hmm. seeing that kind of band. Got telly is sweet. That is cool. 
That's a nice counteracting thing because it probably brightens it up and you have a texture. Yeah, because this one, this one kind of, kind of glides. It's sound. Mm -hmm. And Tanner's is a little more gritty with that tele sound. Sonically live yeah, in totally nice. different places. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Mm -hmm. Complement you, each other. And then you run it through these bad boys, These this board. Yep. You run an effects loop. And uh, what do we got? You know, we better, you know, now that we're doing a podcast, we probably should just say the pedals out loud yeah. we're using. Yeah, you know what I mean? Will you, will you run us through the order of them, the, the signal chain? Uh, so it starts here. The this depths. The depths. Earthquaker devices. Vibe pedal. Chorus and vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like that front, too. Or, the, or first. I like those yeah. first. And then this is... Uh, which AMA? Okay. AC noises. Oh yeah. yeah, that's a really cool company. That's a dead. Yeah, I forget what this one is called, but it's just kind of a, a reverb, modulated reverb, crazy yeah, modulated. Ass veiny heart on it. Yeah, <laughs> pink <laughs> with knobs all, with pink also knobs. a bit crusher in it. Mm -hmm. And then, then there's a Carolina effects, uh, kilobyte lo-fi delay. Cheers to Philippe and boys at Caroline. They're awesome. I used to have an Icarus pedal. They're, I keep talking about it, and I gotta have it again, and I need to get it. Those guys are great. Still, for some reason, Fully eludes me. Builds good pedals. Yeah, I usually stack this one with my reverb on. Do you use most the my mode, the, the momentary switch? Yeah, this. You get the weird trails and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. what this one is. You just mm -hmm. hold it down, and then you can kind of mess with it. Mm -hmm. I like that pedal. Um, and then the big sky is a big, big part sky. of your sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you've been using that pedal forever. Yeah. And I usually, I, I pretty much just use two settings and use them kind of... Oh, yeah, let's make some noise. Let's hear these. Uh, make some sounds. So you have two reverb pedals on your board, so clearly that's a big... that. Clearly you like... Yeah. Clearly that's a big part of the sound, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's hear you. Can we play a little bit? Just kind of hear some of like, okay, yeah, what's this? We've been talking about it. People are going to go, what the hell does all that sound like? Yeah, let's hear it. Let's yeah. hear it. Instead of Vikings, I'm gonna imagine the guy from Flash Gordon, the movie. Like, yeah! Have you ever seen that, that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bird guy. I mean, that's the, the kind of that's out. the soundtrack. The yeah, Queen did the soundtrack of that. Right? So that's that's the oscillation. Yeah. <laughs> In that order. And then there's the chorus. Which I don't really... That's that. I don't, I don't really use that distorted. I usually That's use cool that sound. on a clean. But it's pretty present. That cool too. Yeah, yeah. That sounds cool. To the dark cave. <laughs> oh, like this is like the fucking Terminator <laughs> coming after you. Oh, you guys should have blazes. You can get the trails. Oh, 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 oh. Dance interpretation. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Yeah. Don't blow out the mics, but it'll be fine. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta Didn't do that in your punk band, did you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> is, um, is that what got you going? Like, I want to do more sound escape stuff rather than just angst. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I think people are going to yeah. want to know just what... Just a natural of getting more, into that music. A lot more melodic. What are your main yeah, settings textured. on the Big Sky pedal? Um, what, are, what are your presets on there? So, a lot of the time I use this cloud. Cloud style you know, reverb. Cloud I don't know, sound. it's kind of... Mm -hmm. I like that one. Wispy. Yeah, that yeah. seems very cloudy. And then the other one I mainly use is the, just the hall. What, uh, if, it's, if it's like a section that's really intense and you want it to be clear. Yeah. Sweet. Right that's on. killer. 
Good warm round a cool, tone out of all that too. It sounds good. Are you on eight twelves? Do you have two four twelve caps? Or yeah. Full stack? We have no. We'll, we're on half stacks. Okay. And they're both Mesa triple Rex, which are a little too loud. We might. I think we might be looking to get into something like maybe a fifty one. It must just be nuking in your in your jam yeah. space. Yeah. In the little yeah. room there. Like I'd, I'd like to have something 50 watts so I can get it really, get the tubes really hot and not have to blast my face off, basically. Right. That's a loud amp. <laughs> yeah. And that then, must sound good. This must sound great through those. Yeah. Right. Just big yeah, power. Yeah, big end. power in that loud that you really feel it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Now, what's the singer? Is the singer screaming? Kelly, like, yeah. He's ah! like, so you yeah. got that, this beautiful, melodic, a great scream. airy <laughs> stuff, and then someone... Then it's the rape and pillaging happens. <laughs> and that's right? usually the that's battle usually cry. Layered and textured too. There's a ton of Does he do reverb voice like stuff voice. on. Okay. Yeah. And Shiloh's yeah. got like triggers on his drums and all kind. Of, he has a. Uh, we're off the triggers now. Okay. So, because he's got a custom kit that's really nice. So. It's cool. cool. He's worked a lot really on his good. drum sound. Yeah. Years, yeah. And oh, Kelly's yeah. on a. Eight by ten, ampeg. Sweet refrigerator. Rig. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sweet, man. Very cool. Yeah. Um, now, uh, you have a... Now, is this your main project? Is this your... You said something you were going to do more of a doomier project yeah, than this or something. What, is that a new thing? Or? Yeah, that's something that Feather and Tanner and I are oh. kind of... And Ray Jimenez. Oh, I like Ray. Are cool. thinking about doing kind of slower and heavier. And, sludgy stuff? or Yeah. 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 Cool. Who's gonna be the singer for that one? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Either it's instrumental or I'm gonna go for tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> I got some, got some scream in me. Blaze would show up. And be like, I thought this was a metal band. This doesn't sound like like Priest. This doesn't sound yeah. like Iron. Like you guys, you had a metal band. You guys know Back in Black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Metallica Black channel, Album, and then it gets murdered. I <laughs> channel. <laughs> and yeah. like, That's how you can really make some black metal guys mad. Just start bringing up wuss metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, I can channel. Can I'll we channel. call it that? Can we call some things wuss metal? Yeah. Not, not, what would not, be pri metal? not Priest, though. Priest, Priest is, is kind of rocking. Yeah. Don't fuck with What would be wuss metal? Metallica's. <laughs> the Black, good. just the Black Album. Like the <laughs> Maybe everything I've got. Ride the Lightning. What a good album, though. Great. What a successful album. I don't want to. So much I don't Metallica guys, diss, guess. I don't want to diss that. Metallica is a great band. I was, a, I grew up on that band. I would not talk um, shit. The, uh, I'm going to channel Cuddles, my favorite, <laughs> when it died. If I just think of that moment, I will fucking scream. And just, uh, it tore my heart apart. I had a ferret. That oh, no. <laughs> time you brought him back. He's froze. always with you. He is always with me. In all my walks of life, uh, Cuddles is with me. It was pretty metal the way he died. He froze in the Blaze's yard, and Blaze had <laughs> Blaze had to go out there in the winter, and he couldn't like dig. Well, he, Bla I was Cuddles too young died. to know that ground freezes, so I'm just trying, trying to, to dig. dig a and it went, a it's kid. frozen. His parents no one's helping me. I watching him are, out there in the out, yard. My parents are doing off track bedding or something. Frozen so, earth, just trying to. And this ferret's just hard, and he's like, you could take, like, oh. take it and like whack, whack. You know, yeah, just a... so I go get sidetracked to do something else. <laughs> I'll get a nice pick, and then I ended up playing with the neighbor or something and then forgot all about it. The wind blew it over, <laughs> froze to the ground, So then it, and then it just froze. So you couldn't do anything about it. So the whole spring and into the summer, we saw it decompose gradually. As it's just, we, like, we're playing backyard. We had to jump over the dead thing and while we're playing football or something. <laughs> So that's I like that we brought so that story I, back. That's metal! <laughs> <laughs> Pet, pets dying is a metal thing, damn it. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, uh, now can people um, find your music online, or uh, uh, where do we go to hear your band? Yeah, we, have, we have a band camp page. Um, okay. So you can stream it there, or buy it, or check out merch on there. And what's mm -hmm. the name again? Arkron Thodol. So it's... First word is A R K H E R O N. Second word is T H O D O L. What did where did you, you get that us, name? Yeah, what is can you that? tell us a little bit about the name? Um, we wanted to come up with something Stripper really. Vegas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> something really uh, esoteric and kind of ended up having some typos when Shiloh came up with the name. 
that weren't actually quite the words we were looking for. The second word is, um, but so like Nor- like Norse we, or something. Is then we ended up no, it's it's Greek and Latin and Tibetan. Nice and Hebrew All actually, right. yeah. And wow. We ended up taking that first word and looking at what kind of roots uh, could be in it in Latin and Greek and Hebrew. Mm-hmm. And I guess the whole name ended up translating, I guess, kind of multilingually <laughs> into uh, to liberate the song of joy. The primordial song of joy. Wow, I guess that's pretty. It's really, uh, it's for all this dark and death <laughs> metal and raping, <laughs> it's a good accident. Yeah, Leaves with all been. this, it's actually uh, these are the real fuzzy feeling. Fuzzy, nice yeah. feeling. Yeah, it's very <laughs> not very metal, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have a band called Swamp Dog, and it was the same process. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp Dog, Louisiana soul <laughs> funk. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. Well, that's so cool. You guys are out there performing the new material this summer, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Seattle and hanging out in Washington for a couple shows. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, that's really Get it. Getting a little bit. Are no, getting... Then we're just going to be recording. Yeah, that's sweet. The rest of the year. You love the recording process? It's pretty, especially with all, like, do you, do you do, are you playing live or are you doing different layers and stuff and experimenting with guitar parts and all that and um, overdubbing and all that? Yeah, we're, we're multi-tracking it, everything cool. separately. That's got to be fun, right? Yeah. Trying to get melodic and layering and texture, you can really go to town on that and when you're recording. Yeah. And that's, that's You're recording this one fun. at Shiloh's house, right? Uh, we're doing the drums up there, and then we're doing all the strings at Chuck's. That's great. Chuck's house. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's great. Chuck needs more metal, more metal projects in his in his engineer life. Yeah. Chuck, mm-hmm. good one, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Micah. Right. Well, um, we gotta got to wrap it other, up. Any, any uh, shameless promotion or anything you need to you want to throw out there to uh, the people? No, just stock, check out the Any band stock camp. tips or anything? or <laughs> <laughs> Cooking. Yeah, uh, NASDAQ. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Recipes you want to share? Or? <laughs> no, just check out the band camp, and if you like it, uh, buy it and maybe pick up some merch. Sweet. So. Cool. Thanks, yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for it, popping out. Yeah, thank, yeah. Thanks for the beer, right. too. Cheers, Very lovely. Yeah. Cheers. Really appreciate you and, being uh, here, Micah. Thanks. I'm glad the, you know, the sonic waves chill. Maybe your Didn't, pedal, like, oh, offset it and created a little minute. comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it almost called it up. Yeah, and we got loud there. It almost, well, I thought we were going to do a little beep, 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 beep. <laughs> but, uh, but we're here now. Damn it. <laughs> what the? Whew. I was stroking out there, there. for <laughs> something it's happened. Really I feel better now. I'm going to take a minute with that one. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So, uh, wow. Okay. Our guest took off. Somehow he, he got zapped back to where he came from. I hope he's okay. Hopefully his instruments and pedals. <laughs> we'll have to get that back to him. That's that, um, Which also is pretty metal that he just zapped. It's pretty metal. It, yeah. Yeah, that he just did that. <laughs> um, so he's tapping into something, pri- you know, primordial. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, uh, but we're the Gear and Beer Show, brought to you by Music Villa in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, that's Joe. This is Blaze. And uh, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thank you. Thank we you. know you all subscribe just so you can get your hands on that PRS. <laughs> uh, you know, but hopefully you watch the show and you might enjoy it. Tell your friends, you know, share it. Check out our other shows. We have a acoustic thing going on, too, mm-hmm. a, a acoustic letter and all that. Talking about we go to custom we go to Martin and Taylor and Gibson too locally and do oh, custom man. stuff, and uh, you can only get here and that and that, uh, that show features those things and, and just th- cool comparisons. And thanks of regular for following because we we enjoy doing this, but we really just want we we really want you guys to enjoy it. Yeah, my it's therapist really- said I really need <laughs> this. More want- subscribers, the better. The better I feel about myself, and I might not, you know. And that's your subject. I'm not hurt re- myself. I realize there's this whole. Th- part of Micah that we didn't even touch on, which he's a really talented uh, uh, metal worker. He's, he went to, I don't even know, I can't even do it justice, but he's, uh, the belt buckle he has on, he made, he's... Whoa! Metal! You do metal work! Yes. You play metal, you do metal work. What do you do? <laughs> I work at a bronze foundry, uh, putting sculptures together. Yeah. Okay. Lots of Western, Western art. Yeah. Does yeah. Planet Bronze, is that where you're no, at? No, Northwest Art Castings. North- okay, cool. Yeah. That's so, pretty fun. We actually have some stuff on the band camp. And some of your some band merch buckles. is... That's yeah. killer. You want to make some swords. Pendants. Knives, yeah. Knives. Yeah. Okay. No so, swords? Knives. There are swords, too. Start too much, start 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 too much uh, yeah. Leg- yeah, there's a... 
You don't want to hear people having sword fights. So was, Gen- was Gendry <laughs> your favorite uh, character in Game of Thrones? Uh, the Hound. <laughs> <laughs> the Hound is the man. The Hound yeah. is... Yeah. Like, Gendry's just... Don't you know, talk about it. I weapons. haven't seen it yet. La, 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 la. <laughs> I wouldn't think you're a Gendry guy. <laughs> But Gendry won. Who won the Game of Thrones? I would say uh, Gendry, Braun won, Arya won. Arya won. Yep, I, yeah. I saw enough. It's hard Braun to get away from spoilers. Braun and Gendry kind of won in my estimation, though. Gendry, yeah. He did all right. He, came, he was Gendry, gone for like got, a few seasons and he just came his, back. You know, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I haven't seen it, but do you guys like it? There's all this controversy of the ending of Game of Thrones. Do you like how it it's went? Did they rush it? There's water bottles and crap in there. It's a good conclusion. It yeah? was. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, I got to watch it. We had to... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, for some reason I, I haven't. I, I we had to wait, and now I'm ready to. It was a dive solid into wrap it. up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. good. You hear all this crap on the web, <laughs> and uh, but it's actually Great. good. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone. Yeah, We're thanks. all. Uh, uh, hey, let's. You know what? Let's all go out for breakfast. Let's see if we can zap. Put it. In a zzz, let's go. Zzz,